Hey everyone and welcome back to our playthrough of the Northlands campaign on Cursed Difficulty. Last time we got ourselves to the second island and we're starting to think about how we wanted to spend gems and do upgrades and everything. After a little refresher on the gem cost of various things, looks like we're going to need a little bit more than I'd like to go back to the first island because the archery statue costs three gems and it will cost another four to get Heimdall's horn or Yalahorn, which means we're probably going to have to send ourselves to the third island before we can go back to the first. And before we do any of that, we've got to get ourselves some archers for our squires, because at the moment, this fella just has nobody with him. And in order to get some archers for the squires, we've got to expand our kingdom so that we can get some uh, shields for archers. And only then, once they've got shields, will they join the squires. A little bit convoluted, but hey, it adds a little bit of uh, depth to the gameplay. Not going to complain. We also kind of want to get rid of these five gems in our bag because... Right now, they're just taking up space. However, I'm not too sure if the gem chest will have spawned yet. Now oh, it has, but it's a bit too late in the day. So we're going to go back to the safety of our walls and just chill out. We have four builders, so we don't really need any more of those. So everything else can sort of go towards archers and then squires once we've got them. But for now, archers are the main priority. So this is a reminder of one of the pretty cool mechanics added for Norse lands, and we might get to see it if they, uh, if all the greed don't get brutalized before they make it to the walls. That's one sinister squirrel. Yeah, I mean we can just send the guy out. Wonderful stuff. If I remember correctly, and I probably don't, uh, there was one portal quite close here, and on the other side of the portal is a camp, and there it is. Oh, don't like that spawning. Or opening. Oh, come on. How's that fair? Whew. Don't want them taking my dog. Far too early for that to be happening. Okay, how far do we want to expand our walls? Preferably beyond that first opportunity. Ah, there we go. Perfect. And we might as well get a bit carried away and do that all now because the attacks are still quite easy on this side or on this island in general and there's the shield store I guess shield shop yeah just shield maker probably makes the most sense So yeah, if we go here, build a shield or buy a shield, then the first archer to grab it should go and join our squire. And 
And there we have it. So just a few more to go. The other benefit is we have a farm, which is going to be inside our walls. So that would be an easy way to get a few more coins and speed up the whole shield getting process and ship building. I don't believe there are any more chests on this island. In fact, I think the map tells you hmm, three gems. I'm not sure if that's how many are left on this island. So we'll go and do a bit of exploration on the uh, right hand side tomorrow. We'll stay on this side because the walls aren't as built up as the right hand side, I don't believe. So it just makes sense to have our wits about us over here. Okay. Easy peasy. be nice if we could pay this guy now but we can wait a few extra seconds so whilst we're out here we might as well give some gems to the keeper So that's five that are in there. Now let's recruit some people. Here's where we got our lovely dog. That's where we would get the reindeer. Long way to go. Okay, there are more gems here. Interesting. And it's another three. So that does take us up to eight. Oh god. We'll just leave those on the floor for those people to pick up. That was a bit of a late warning from the dog. Are there many more? Oh yeah, there still are a few. Sort of just want to confirm that is the end of this side whilst out exploring. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty much like the end. I know that's not super... Oh, okay, that's closed, so let's go and have a little extra bit of confirmation. Oh, wonderful, now it's open again. Let's hope we don't lose our four-legged friend. Should be fine, yeah. 
Okay, so with those three additional gems, we do actually now have enough to go back to the first island, get the uh, Yalahorn and the archery statue, and then we can go on to the third island. And after that, our gems can just be spent on getting whatever mount we want, plus any other hermits. The downside is that it means we won't have the bakery hermit. However, that shouldn't be a massive concern because we're basically just going to want to upgrade our town centers on each island, taking the knights with us every time, and um, then heading on to the next island and skipping all of the portals. So recruitment shouldn't be a massive issue. He says now. Hopefully the left hand side survived. Would be a bit of a bummer if it didn't. three squires that we can take with us so might as well get cracking on that and we also might as well get a couple of uh, more farmers because they will only speed up the process We'll have a little graze, and then we'll go and get a couple more people from this side. Want to join our fight against evil, I guess? I mean, we never find out if they're evil. The greed could actually be really friendly people once they've taken everything from you. So we only really need to do recruitment and shipbuilding, both of which are pretty expensive, but it's a straightforward goal. portal is bloody miles away on this side so we should have plenty of time to recruit these people Get back to camp, you lot. That's really not helpful that that builder decided to be one of the first to take a shield. But hey, who am I to judge? It's 
a lovely amount of coins. He's having fun. Okay, plenty more. Still do need shields on this side. They were just a bit reluctant to come and get them by the looks of things. Here we go. Seriously, was there any one actually built? That is the maximum number built there, but they just didn't seem too interested. Maybe it's these people coming along. Okay, let's go recruit a few more from this side and leave some coins for the next ones that spawn. Ooh, two at this one. Very nice. And two at that one. Come on, mate. Stop slacking. There we go. So our armies are looking pretty stacked, which is nice. Leave them with an extra builder, because why not? So I think that means that after tonight we can just focus on getting that um, ship built and we can head back to the first island. I've fully upgraded this wall out here. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Probably should have done. That one's had his wheat a bix. Okay, we might as well upgrade that wall. Stop running away, you cowards. And I assume this side's all done. So we can head straight to the boat, have a little snack before we go, because we're low on stamina. We should have enough in our bag to finish this off, but we'll see. Maybe not. Let's hope those farmers are busy.
I really do like this music. It's got a strong sort of, I mean, obviously it's a sort of Nordic vibe, but it reminds me of um, Witcher 3. from you boys yet. Maybe the archers are a little bit less disappointing. Eh, too little too late. The only thing I have to worry about with um, boarding the boat is whether or not there's going to be a blood moon, which hopefully there's not one this soon, but because it is a harder difficulty, I'm not quite sure. What day are we on? Okay, 13. That does seem quite early for a blood moon so unlikely and the dog's already barking so won't be tonight that does mean we'll have to wait to board the ship until tomorrow though might as well launch it Come on, you lot, back to base. Maybe like there's some sort of greed coming. There we go. If I remember correctly, again, might be wrong, but I think the archery statue was on the left side of the first island and so was the um, horse. So we can go with four gems and go and pick that up straight away. However, that does mean we need to wait till sunrise before we can pay to get one of those gems out. I mean, we could just pay for all of them, but, um, ooh, of course. Okay, I mean, we've already committed to leaving, so we might as well get out of here and see how it goes. We are waiting on that other side to come and join us, though. First blood moon should be quite light regardless, so hopefully if we can get back to the first island and it's relatively early in the day, it means we can just set up slightly better defences and be good to go. Um, not going to worry about sorting out the gems right now. So at least that is one thing confirmed, that blood moons do happen a bit earlier on. Oh, it says day 15, so maybe it skipped the blood moon. The defences haven't been eroded on that island, so that's good.
Okay. That's an interesting quirk. If you've ever got a boat ready, it might seem like you can just skip the Blood Moon attack by leaving the island. However, we may eat our words if we come back to the second island at some point and there's just a Blood Moon waiting for us. How many coins do I have? Mm, seven. I do not think that that's enough for the archery statue. So we might as well recruit those two fellas, get back to the camp and just chill out for a little bit. would be good to get expanded a little beyond this bit here. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. No fleeing the blood moon. So did I just lose a day? Maybe that makes sense. After all, I was setting sail somewhere. We look pretty well equipped though. We'll see what awaits us on the first blood moon. And this is why it's handy to have the dog, because we know that they're going to be attacking from the right hand side. And we'll make the next day our last one, because we're coming up on that all-important time limit. Well, that didn't sound very reassuring. Yep, he is still pointing right. That's good. I mean, this is assuming we survive the Blood Moon attack. There are quite a few of them. That was sort of needed, but they did a good job. Right, let's uh, probably get those walls upgraded. Should probably get the town centre upgraded, but I don't think that will do the walls anymore. Let's have a little check on the right hand side. There is a farm right there, but we'd have to lose this vagrant camp. Yeah, it seems like the left hand side is probably the better place to expand if we want to get anything like a farm. Now we'll just get the archery statue from the left because I think we do need to upgrade the town centre to get the gem coffer to spawn. No, leave my coin alone. Ugh, that's my coin. So because it was a blood moon attack, we shouldn't have to worry about any greed spawning today. But again, we'll be a little cautious just in case that is slightly different on this harder difficulty. I'll recruit them on the way back just to make sure I've got enough coins for the archery statue.
Seriously? They are actually attacking? I'll keep walking towards. Just in case I need my stamina to make a quick escape. Okay, so no rest for the wicked. I mean, that is a good mechanic to uh, take out to make it harder after all, because that way it makes it a little bit more difficult to expand your kingdom. There's not as much of a free opportunity to just go out when you've got um, no worries at night. Of course, this could just be a little bit of a bug because of the whole changing islands and blood moon stuff. So, again, we'll just have to wait and see until the next one. And there we are, back to safety and a bunch of coins. So let's get a few more archers. Or a couple more. Quite a few of them. I mean, they're still just level one, but still quite a few of them. The archery statue is definitely going to help out with getting rid of those waves a bit quicker. And now we just wait for the sunrise. Feel like it's a good point to end when you have a new day. So that's everything for this time. If you're looking for more tips and guides, then check out some of my other videos. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.